hello in this video we will look at the nervous system basically we will discuss about the overview of the nervous system so next video we will discuss with the detail with the different parts and their pain receptor and the uh, motor pathway and pain pathway so here is basically the nervous system is basically used for the coordination all activities for body so basically the sound pain heat light and smell which and vision which that is we are uh, coordination with this uh, abiotic factor with the nervous system for detection so it is also used for the balance so the purpose of the nervous system is the coordination all activities of body and enable the body to respond and adapt it to changes both inside and outside for example the outside is the more heat so inside our body will maintain the uh, temperature 30 37 degree celsius by hypothalamus that is the basically the negative and positive feedback which that is maintained and is known as the homeostasis so on the other hand here is that we will discuss about the type of nervous system here is the person which that is contain a brain and spinal cord the brain is the basically is the uh, central part for the integration and the uh, uh, processes on the other hand the spinal cord which that it receive the sensory input from the body toward the brain so here is the peripheral nervous system which that is except the brain and spinal cord is known as the peripheral nervous system peripheral peripheral nervous system is uh, uh, through the body which that is hand head a uh, hand and leg which that is the upper pa part and lower part so here is the basically is the peripheral nervous system contain a motor neuron and sensory neuron so the motor neuron out of central nervous system which that is attach with the muscle while the sensory neuron toward the brain for integration so the interneuron are present which that is the unmyelinated into the brain as well as spinal cord so we will discuss about the cross, cross section of the spinal cord so the spinal cord is made up of cervical thoracic and lumbar region so here is the spinal cord and let's here is a skull which that is cover the brain this skull is known as the cranium this cranium is made up of bone and this bone is basically sutures are present which that is the hinge joint like structure so the brain is contain a layer inside the meninges is dura mater pia mater and arachnoid while in the uh, between the inside the layer is the cerebrospinal fluid are present which that is the shock absorptive so here is the spinal cord spinal cord is the cervical thoracic and lumbar region which that is we can classify on the basis of their anatomical aspect so central nervous system is here while the peripheral nervous system is made up of somatic and autonomic nervous system basically is the somatic uh, nervous system is the efferent uh, carries infra uh, information from the brain to the body while here is you can see the motor neuron which that is the effector while the affector is the basically skin skin is uh, contain a afferent uh, neuron which that carries information to the brain so it means the two type of the pathway toward the brain in toward the central nervous system from the peripheral nervous system and away from the central nervous system from the per peripheral nervous system so the peripheral nervous system we can classify so here is the basically affector that is a skin which that is used for that pain heat touch pressure and other uh, other mechanical uh, activity which that is uh, uh, which that is basically is detect and move to the central nervous, nervous system by a chemical electro electrochemical changes of the sodium and potassium ion and potassium is basically inside which that is create the negative charge will move out and the sodium will move in to change the electrical conduction from minus 70 millivolt to the positive 50 millivolt to threshold so that will be a coordination we will discuss in later in next video of the chemical coordination uh, mechanical uh, electrical coordination basically not chemical 
so here is the peripheral nervous system is made up of somatic nervous system as well as autonomic nervous system somatic nervous system is basically the voluntary we can control it while the autonomic nervous system is the involuntary we can con we can't control it so the basically first is we will discuss about the somatic nervous system basically the motor information and sensory information as you uh, see in the previous diagram so the voluntary control can be uh, possible while the autonomic nervous system is the na uh, di different so first of all the motor uh, information and sensory information the motor information is due to the uh, motor neuron which that is a factor and basically the muscle attachment with the neuromuscular junction neuromuscular junction means the muscle at muscle fiber is attached with the neuron is known as the synaptic gap is known as the neuromuscular junction which that is polarization and depolarization used for the contraction of muscle so the sensory neuron is used for the sensation of pain sensation of touch and pressure an autonomic nervous system is the involuntary system which that is made up of sympathetic nervous system and sympathetic nervous system and parasympathetic nervous system sympathetic nervous system is used for the alert is response due to the alert and fight and fly response and during the pain or another things which that is basically activity which that is give the activeness and the parasympathetic nervous system is rest and digest response parasympathetic nervous system is stimulate the digestion and stimulate the rest and sleep so that is why so let's begin to understand the structure of brain we will discuss here and first of all we should understand the lobe uh, brain is contain different lobes frontal lobe parietal lobe here is the temporal lobe temporal and occipital lobe this lobe is play important role with different function for example frontal lobe is used for the reasoning and thought while the uh, uh, temporal lobe is used for the processes or dietary from ear for listening on the other hand here is the integrates uh, parietal lobe is basically integrate sensory information while on the other hand the occipital lobe is used for the processing and visual information from eyes so the eyes is responsible for the uh, uh, occipital lobe which that is give the image to the occipital lobe for integration and checking that so i hope you make sense next here we will discuss about the cross section of the brain to understand inside so what is the inside and we will discuss inside first of all here is a basically is the upper part is the bigger part is known as the cerebrum this is cerebrum is contain a left and right hemisphere left is control the right part of the body while the right is control the left part of the body and that is known as the hemisphere and which that is control our movement as well as uh, control our body collectively so here is the cross section of the brain which that is showing inside is the diencephalon this diencephalon is made up of basically the different parts we will discuss here so cross section of the hair is the basically cerebrum is also present so first of all we should understand about the cerebrum cerebellum this cerebellum here is the diencephalon and here is the mid brain it is known as the mid brain and basically the fore brain is the frontal part while the hind brain is the back side is the occipital lobe containing hind brain while the parietal and frontal is the front brain front front part while the temporal is the mid brain this mid brain is contain a different part and play important function we will discuss so here is the cerebellum cerebellum is used for the muscle coordination balance posture muscle tone so next video we will discuss about with the detail so here is basically is a, uh, the mid brain which that is known as the diencephalon which that is we will discuss here so here is the medulla medulla we will discuss also so basically here is the cross section which show that the mid brain is known as the diencephalon this diencephalon we will discuss here with the detail this is the diencephalon 
this dyne's phalanx contain a basically uh, cerebellum and the cerebellum is not involved but i am drawing here but here is the first of all is we will discuss about the center of uh, respiration that is known as the medulla oblongata this medulla oblongata is used for the regulates heart beat and blood vessel function and digestion respiration swallowing coughing sneezing and blood pressure which that is used for the uh, this mechanism and control for example breathing mechanism controlled by it and the blood vessel function is controlled by it heart beat is controlled by it and digestion whole digestion is controlled by it so on the other hand here is the pons these pons are present upper part of the medulla this is the certain reflex action and chewing and tasting saliva production is due to the pons and this pons is basically used for the digestion and also uh, 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 grinding of the food basically in our digestion and the primary digestion due to the production of amylase enzyme is due to the pons from the salivary gland of the human body while on the other hand here is the thalamus thalamus is basically is a direct sensory impulse to the cerebrum it means the thalamus is used for the a uh, central part which that is transmit the nerve impulse to the cerebral hemisphere or cerebral cortex so the thalamus is direct sensory impulse to the cerebrum basically and on the other hand here that uh, we will discuss back side of the basically back front side of the uh, this diagram is the, uh, the uh, diagram is basically uh invert so you can see here is the hypothalamus is the front of the thalamus and below the thalamus is known as hypothalamus it is below the thalamus and this hypothalamus con control and regulates the uh, temperature and appetite water balance sleep and blood vessel regulation so this is stimulated by the thalamus thalamus is stimulate some to the hypothalamus and also uh, control the activity while on the other hand here is the pituitary gland which that is controlled by the hypothalamus to use as a endocrine hormone production for example oxytocin uh, anti diuretic hormone and on the other hand basically the growth hormone somatostatin and uh, androgenic hormone and a cell stimulating hormone interstitial cell stimulating hormone which that is the major activity is the endocrine system which that is also known as the uh, made up of basically is the adeno hypophysis and neuro hypophysis as well as the median lobe so here is the skin which that is basically is contain a nociceptor after we will discuss the mechanism of the response so here is for example we and uh, uh, we had damage of our skin so where the damage of the skin it means the ending of the nerves nociceptor will be damaged also so the hair is the basically spinal cord which that is contain a gray matter and white matter inside is the gray matter which that is butterfly like structure while here is the medulla which that is also contain a post postural ventral medulla and here is the basically is med uh, upper part of the medulla is known as the uh it is known as the uh, mid midbrain this midbrain is con uh, is known as inside is the uh, peri aqua ductal gray matter this peri aqua ductal gray matter is basically used for the information and move the nerves impulse toward the cortex so let's begin to understand first of all so upper part is the cort cortex and the thalamus as well as the locus uh coriolis coriolis so here is the ventricles are present which that is contain a uh, cerebral spinal fluid so here is the cortex and basically here is the ventricles and thalamus which that is a two uh, part because it is the cross section of the uh, mid section of the brain so here when no see chapter we receive that is known as the sensory neurons will move into the dorsal dorsal ganglion which the dorsal and uh, nerves uh, ganglion which that is move to the uh, toward the dorsal horn and after the movement of the dorsal horn which which inter neuron will integrate and that is the first order neuron to the third or uh, second order neuron which that is 
uh, give the information to the upper part of the medulla so after the medulla it's move in upper part of the and third order neuron which so here is the second order neuron which that is give the um, basically passing from the gray matter to the uh, here is you can see in the uh, thalamus to move after the integration by the third order neuron to uh, uh, to the cortex which that is the somato a somatosensory cortex which contain a different region which contain a different pain uh, from the different region so here is the another is the basically is more basically again more pain a reception from here is the pre aqua ductal uh, peri aqua ductal gray matter which that is passing and the mid brain and again receive the pain from here and more and more it is po uh, posterior ventral medulla with the um, passing from the posterior ventral medulla to the uh, uh, to the neuron and that is pain sensation so thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe like and share and next video we will discuss with a detailed pain path